Hello everyone, so today I have a project share and this is a Lace Boutique One collab group, so, I mean collab video. So, if you've been following along, every Saturday there's been a different project from a different YouTuber um, showcasing Anna's beautiful digital prints. And the one I chose to use um, for my video is this one right here that you see it in front of you. Um, and of course there are giveaways involved and for this giveaway, not only one person is able, will be able to get this for free, but as many as it can be. So the way this one is going to work is on Monday, everyone who makes a purchase from Lace Boutique One Etsy shop will receive this digital for free so this will come for free with your purchase um, because she won't be selling this one as far as I know this is only going to be will be available as a freebie all right and the rest of the stuff that you see in front of you are stuff that I used to make this project if you follow me along you know that I like to buy these um, jewelry from Walmart these happen to be on clear on clearance, um, and so I'll, I grab I I got these because these color went well with this collection, and then I just used some lace essential from my stash, and I also used a piece of this, and this is just so beautiful, and now because it is digital, um, you are able to res resize it as big or as small as you like. And as you can see, I have these on a smaller scale because I made some wallet cards and I didn't need a full page. And I wanted, obviously, the scale of the image to be much smaller so it can fit in the front of my wallets. So let me go ahead and set this aside and show you what I made. So the tutorial that I followed is by Juliana, and I will link it down below in case you're interested. But... These are extremely easy to make, you guys. You just get a piece of paper that measures 7 by 10. And I think I scored it at 3.5 and 7.5. And, and that was pretty much it. And after I did that, I punched it. I At least these two, I, you know, etch punched the sides with using a Martha Stewart punch. And then I papered it. So my base is white, as you can see. All of my three bases are white. All right, so here's the first one. Here is that earring, and I use that, you know, so it can be, it represents like the closure. And then there is my piece of applique that I have, and I kept it really simple because it is a card. So I just use the, and plus, these papers are so beautiful, you don't have to cover it much. Um, for this part, I left it blank, but what Juliana did, I think she made it into pockets and you can tuck like a gift card or an extra no or whatever you like. So that is the first one. This is the second one. And this one I added some trim. And then here is just, oh, here's another piece of that earring. These are just from I Am Roses and Wild Orchid Crafts. This is from Downtown LA. Here is another piece of that same um, applique. And this one opens up this way again. Kept it simple. And now the third one is just a tiny bit different. Let me show you what that looks like. And here is the third one. And these papers are just so beautiful, you guys. That's the back. I think the backs are all the same. Yeah. And I made a flower. This flower, I made it using the Hobby Lobby trim, which is this one right here. And you can see that I did cut it down the middle. You can see that right there. And then I punched out a circle and just hot glued around the circle. Um... And I think it's only two layers. And then I added this really, really beautiful bling in the center. And I used another piece right here. This, again, is from Hobby Lobby. And it is magnetic closure. 
and then this one opens up and I made this one more um, into an accordion and what's nice about this one is that you can stuff it with goodies so I've included um, this is going to go to a crafty friend and so I just made some of these um, these are by Tim Holtz so of course I can't find it right now that I'm looking for it but I just hauled this in a recent um, Hobby Lobby haul and this is what that die looks like and it makes these really cute envelopes and these are perfect for adding little you know little happy mail and um, they are also gift card holders so I'm adding a few, a few solids and a few printed. And then I'm also gifting her a set of um, tag dies, as you can see right there. And I added, this is another paper from Lace Boutique One. I think this one is called like Pink Junk Journal. And that is what that looks like. And that's the side. So, I, like I said, I made that. Um, this one looks more like, a, what's it called, like a coupon book, I think, or coupon organizer. So, I just put these in here. And you can add, and this is a really nice, um, also, I think, I, I think this idea is really nice uh, for Happy Mail for keeping, you know, um, things kind of flat and just stuff it in with goodies, ephemera, stickers, whatever you want. So the this is my project for Lace Boutique One. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's inspired you to make your own um, wallet cards. Also, don't forget that on I'm going to have all of the, the information in the description box. So the date is June 4th. So if you make a purchase on June 4th from Lace Boutique One and Etsy, of course, I will have that information, that link in the description box, you will get this digital kit for free along with your purchase. All right, that's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.